hello again guys all right now um so far we are able to log in as the client and uh, log requests and then on the admin side we are able to view those requests and then also action and then again close them so in this video what we're going to do is on the client side we're going to display the we're going to set up the display or, or we're going to set up the the client dashboard to view or to display the requests that they have logged and then also we're going to work on setting up the functionality to display all the requests that the client made but have been closed so for example if i log in here so far as you can see on the dashboard side on the client side as you see there um, we don't display any um, request that the client has made. Uh, so far, we can go and create a request, and then, but when we go back to the dashboard, so far there's nothing there. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna take, we're gonna basically display the the request the same way as we are doing it on the dashboard on the client side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this card that we created on the that on the on the admin dashboard and then we're going to paste it this side on the client side. So uh, let me first take that main content section over there. I'll copy this, paste it there. And then I'm going to copy again that card. and then paste it here on the client side. Now, obviously there's gonna, we need to make a tweak towards, uh, we're gonna need to make a tweak um, um, on the on the client admin, I mean, on the client controller, because how we are pulling this, uh, we need to pull in the request that only this client has made. So how we're gonna access that is through the, um, since the client is logged in, we're gonna use the current logged in user's uh, ID to display those requests. So um, here on the controller, uh, client controller. So on the dashboard side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, um, we're gonna get the request, right? The create request. And then here, well, first thing again, we need to get that ID. Okay. So, um, what we then need to do is we're going to say, um, where or actually, let me make it an array. So it's going to be where ID uh, equals to user ID. So let me just um, show you here. So as you can see, um, when we create the request, we also log the client ID. So we're going to basically get all of the requests that were logged by this particular logged in user. Uh, which is Stephen Edwards. So we're getting the request that that particular user uh, logged so that we don't display other clients, um, uh, what you call it, um, request on this particular page. And then we also need to say where status is equal to open. And then remember we can also say or 
Nee. Um, how did we do it on this side? I remember we said. Yeah, so we can say, oh, we just need to copy that. Okay, so now we're going to pass that to the view. We're going to say, um, I'm going to copy the same thing we did here, requests. And then we can say client requests. All right, so in case you're wondering why I'm copying from the admin side. So remember, we took this card, the, this particular um, card over here. And if you can see the way we are accessing that, um, those, those requests, um, I just wanted to keep the same data because we copied the card exactly as it is. And so I wanted to display that card the same way here. So um, that should be it in terms of what we need on the on the um, on the admin dashboard. So all right, so here we are pulling that uh, we are pulling those requests over here. So now the one thing we need to do is see if we can actually view them on the on the client dashboard. So I'm gonna Copy, I'm gonna refresh. Okay, uh, column not found, where clause, select all from request pair, zero ID, hold on. All right, so. Sorry, that's not ID, it's client ID. My mistake there, sorry for that. So it's supposed to be client ID, not ID, uh, like over there. So uh, let's just refresh. Uh, and try again. Okay, so unknown column where there's zero client ID and What mistake am I making here? All right, let's do this. Oh, by the way, if you're going to access the data this way, we need to put this in the um, in the curly braces like that. Otherwise, it's going to keep giving that error. That is why it's doing that. So, um, I mean, square brackets, not curly braces. So, if we're gonna, if you're gonna access it this way, we need to put that in square brackets. Uh, okay, method view eliminate where it does not exist. Okay, what do you mean by that? Um, it does not exist. What does that mean? Okay, uh, create request where client ID equals to that is ID. Uh, one moment for me, please. All right, I'm back, guys. Okay, my apologies. I uh, actually put a where clause here instead of saying um, uh, with uh, 
uh, sorry about that. Some of you may have seen that. Um, so yeah. Okay. So now we can be able to um, view requests if there are any. So now that means the other thing we need to do is here within the web config, um, we need to pull this. Right, so we're gonna paste this here, and then this is gonna change from admin to client. Um, that is also gonna change to client. And then we need to get this, and then change this one here to client request. Okay, and then and then um yeah we need to create this get request details. In fact, I'm gonna again copy from from the um I'm gonna copy again from this um uh, uh from the admin side. So I'm gonna copy that, come here and then paste it there. So get request details. Uh it's the exact same method. Alright, so we're obviously gonna get that through the ID. We then need to create the the view. So the view on the client it's gonna obviously change from there to client. Okay. And then we're gonna copy this file over here and then copy it into there. Right. Okay. So now Right. So now what we need to do is we need to create another request from the client side. So we'll come here. So we're gonna say maybe let's say let's just make a general query. It's gonna be software related. Um let's just say team viewer. Um example um, we're not going to attach a file for now but let's just create this particular request and so let's do that request created successfully if you go to the dashboard there we have our query in our display so now if I click here let's see if it will go to the uh, request details page all right seems like there's a problem as long as it's taking that long to load up there's going to be an issue somewhere. Okay, request update, right. So that means we need to come into here. And just copy. I'm so I'm just going to copy all of these. Because I know we're going to need them later on. Let's try again. Okay, so it's now showing the the uh, the full details of the request. Now, the purpose for this is that when the client, um, sorry about that, we need to change that button. Uh, okay, this is the admin side. 
now we need the client side so i'm going to remove the close the close button and then we need to change that to client instead of admin all right let me refresh that all right so go back so now the purpose for that is that the clients uh, might log a request but then you might find that it's been sitting in the queue and no one has attended to the case and so when they come, come here um, they can check and see if there was anything uh, done in terms of this particular request so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in with the uh, in a different account so um, and then another thing here on this form we're gonna there's gonna be a change or there's gonna be a slight tweak over here so while while the page is loading let's just do that quickly so um here is gonna be we're gonna change this from update request to request feedback right and then here we're gonna say um we're gonna say a feed back. All right, so um, the sole purpose of this is that the client can then view here if there are no updates, for example, they can type a message here and then when they say click request, what this is going to do is it's going to take the details of that particular request and then send an email to admin. So we will do that a bit later on, but for now, the only thing that we're going to do, um, um, I just changed that to uh, type message to, re to request the feedback and then when they click there, it will do that. But for now, what they can do is they can check and see if there were any updates on a particular case, etc. All right, so the other thing I need to do there is change the, um, what to call it. I'm going to change the, the, the navigation there on the request, uh, uh, request details page. So if I go back here, all right, so the links have changed now. Um, so yeah, so now what I want to do is here, I'm going to log in as the admin. Um, I think the password was system admin at support what's the system admin um System admin, yeah. Okay, so now we currently logged in as the system admin. So when I do this here, um, I'm just gonna um, let me just say, uh,
right so let's just say update request okay so uh, request updated successfully and then there we see our update so now if you come here here remember we are logged in as the client so let me refresh and let's just see if it displays okay so now we are seeing the update over there so um logged in as the client we can see the updates we can see all the the information we need um we are also able to view the requests over here on the on the dashboard itself all right so now in the next video what we're going to be working on is the the function to set up uh to set up the function to send emails um for let's say um a client logged a request and it hasn't been attended to or maybe they did attend to the case but it's been a while since they called so we're going to create a function where we can send an email through this um uh, requesting feedback and so forth all right guys so i'm going to end the video here again guys uh for those of you who haven't done so already please like and share and subscribe if you've liked what you've seen so far and um i'll be catching you guys in the next video uh cheers for now